Hello sports lovers, welcome to Mess Sports TV. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about Anthony Joshua, Eddie Hearn, and The Zone. But before I get into it, kindly subscribe to the channel, press the like button, express your views in the comment section, and also share this video so that others can enjoy. Now, let me go into Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is a former w, uh, WBA, IBF, WBO, and IBO champion of the world. Now, he, since he turned pro in after landing after landing gold in the London Olympics 2012, Anthony Joshua has been signed to Matchroom Promotions. Those are his official promotions. Then his official broadcasters were Sky Sports. Now, Sky Sports contract with Anthony Joshua came to an end when Anthony Joshua lost his titles to Alexander Usek at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Anthony Joshua became a free agent. He then listened to bits from The Zone and Sky Sports and other broadcasters, but these were the two main competitors. Now, uh, uh, The Zone offered Anthony Joshua $100 million, two fights a year, making him a shareholder in The Zone and also special advisor and brand worldwide brand ambassador so i think this is a lucrative offer and i i am i just get happy when good boxers or boxers secure the bag and i think this is good for anthony joshua the anthony joshua as a businessman uh, has secured the future of his family 100 million a year if he fights continuously three years that's 300 million dollars so now fast forward uh the zone won the right to televise anthony joseph's fight now the zone is in the uk so most often anything i say without the referral to a, a specific country or continent is about the uk just for the record now the zone has also won the right to televise anthony joseph's fight in the united kingdom now Sky Sports have lost their rights. So, since the Saudis own the rights to this particular bout, the Zones contrast with Anthony Joshua starts after the, the rematch with Alexander Usek. So, this particular bout, the Saudis own the rights to choose their broadcasting partners. The Saudis and Sky Sports have worked before. Besides that, Sky Sports bidded higher and their bid was 28 million pounds. Yes. They bid 28 million pounds to own the rights to this fight from the Saudi, or they become the, 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 the official broadcasting partners in the United Kingdom. So Sky Sports now knows the numbers they have been working with Anthony Joshua with. They've had him from day one before he turned pro until the last time. So they know the numbers Anthony Joshua puts and they think it's a very profitable business. But this is my second, besides Anthony Joshua as a brand being a very profitable business, this is the business strategy I think Sky Sports used. Excuse me. Anthony Joshua's fight would be televised and a lot of UK casual fans follow Anthony Joshua. So they would be interested in the fight the zone app has not caught up in the uk it has its performance has been very bad so they want to use the brand anthony joshua to gain subscribers let's say 500,000 subscribers because a lot of people in the united kingdom would be seeking to watch the match and they may think it's on it's on sky sports but they will be redirected that no the fight is on the zone and they would go seeking for for the zone then they become subscribers and will pay for the pay-per-view so then they, they use anthony joshua as a tool to draw people but sky sports also seeing this realize that no this is bad anthony joshua is a big man let's since we have the last chance let's secure him on our channel it's a, this fight is a very tough fight. It's a 50-50 fight. Anthony Joshua may go there and lose the fight. But if we can secure the right to the fight, we can make our last profit of the brand Anthony Joshua. Yes, they can make enough money out of the brand Anthony Joshua. So that's why they bidded the 20, 
eight million dollars uh, 28 million pounds rather now if there's if they leave their the right to the zone they are now building a stable with boxer and people will switch their attention to the zone the zone does not have a large market in the uk so is boxer also an upcoming promotional company so in order to make their partnership with boxer grow and secure they decided to bid for this fight so that it will take time for people to get to know the zone by that time boxer would have been solid on the ground because they have secured most there's a signature of most olympians on team gb so by the time anthony joshua fights again boxer as the new broadcasting partners with sky or sky sports sorry would be solid on the ground so sky sports no and besides that they know that anthony joshua can go and lose this fight and if anthony joshua loses this fight his popularity in the uk would go down since there is now a certain competitor by name tyson fury who is coming up he is not yet there tyson i think as a brand anthony joshua is head and shoulders above uh, uh tyson fury and just like as a fighter i think tyson fury is head head and shoulder above anthony joshua so knowing well anthony joshua can lose this fight anthony joshua can lose this fight if he loses this fight nobody would be chasing or the interest in his rematch or his comeback may not be there unless he's coming back against somebody like wilder who is also a very marketable tool or also coming from losses from two losses from uh, tyson fury anthony joshua would also be coming off two losses from alexander usek but if not tight uh Deontay Wilder, maybe a daily white, the fight may grow. So knowing very well that this guy, if he loses, his stocks will go down and this, the, the subscribership, the zone may be anticipating, they wouldn't get it. They wouldn't get it because if Anthony Joshua subscribe, uh, stocks go down and Tyson Fury's own will rise. And Tyson Fury is on also on another platform by name BT Sports. So the zone would be crippled and will not become the main competitor for Sky Sports. So that's another way of crippling the zone indirectly. I think it's a business strategy. Now, fast forward to why uh, why this deal is bad for the zone. The zone has been in the UK for about a year now. They said they will not do pay-per-view like their advice, special advisor and one of their boxing promoter, Eddie Hens, said they've changed their goalposts and they are now doing pay-per-view. It is now it is it is it is now in the best it was in the best interest of the zone to secure this fight. Because if they secure this fight and Anthony Joshua wins the rematch, he becomes a three-time heavyweight champion his stocks go extremely high and the rematch with hey sorry the undisputed with tyson fury would be brutal and will draw a lot of people to their platform but they were unable to secure this fight so if anthony joshua goes ahead and lose this their subscribership in the uk would be very bad I'm not talking of the international uh, broadcasters because that has not been yet announced. But if the if Anthony Joshua loses this fight, the zone will be in damn trouble. I don't. I'm I'm sure that their business strategists and lawyers will put contracts in it that Anthony Joshua, if you lose this fight, maybe we are not going to pay you a hundred million because. It would be too expensive we can't put you in a big fight maybe they would give him a tune-up fight maybe he might give uh, maybe a Derek Chisoro who just won uh, his first fight in so many years against former world contender at a uh, Krubat Pulev 
he may give him a chance and that fight will not do great numbers. So we may not earn enough to pay you 100 million a year for two fights. So it all may affect the zone and they may end up, instead of gaining money on the brand Anthony Joshua, they may end up losing money on Anthony Joshua whilst losing money because they don't end up supporting boxing in a bigger way or in a massive way. So, but I'm happy if a boxer is able to secure the bag for the future. And I think Anthony Joshua has done that. This is the conundrum. And I think it's a very bad business for the zone because they were unable to secure the right to this particular fight. It's not good for them at all. And it may go a long way to affect them because they have already lost $1.3 billion. If you have not watched it, kindly watch this video and you see when I talked about it earlier. So they've already lost enough money. So they are bringing on Anthony Joshua to help them recruit, recruit some of those money. The likes of Saul Canelo Alvarez is also on the platform. Gennady Golovkin. But the zone is yet to create a megastar or matchroom itself besides in the United States that would also help the boosting of the uh, of the app they are yet to create a megastar all the stars Anthony Joshua and Saul Canelo Alvarez were bigger stars before coming to the platform but that the, the platform itself has not nurtured any stars it's, it's still young but they've not grown any superstar they've ended up promoting a lot of or promoting a lot of fighters and they when they get better opportunities they leave the platform or or they've overpaid a lot of fighters and they are not staying on the platform but this is my take on the anthony joshua eddie Hearn, the zone conundrum let me know what you think about it remember if you've not subscribed subscribe press the like button and also express your views in the comment section Besides that, if you've made it thus far, I appreciate you for supporting Miss Boss TV. Thank you.